Good afternoon. We're just going to give a few more minutes for people to pop on. But as we do that, I will just go into my little welcome spiel here. Um, good afternoon and welcome. Oh, and people are popping on as we hit one o'clock. Thank you. Um, so good afternoon. Welcome. Today we are hosting Business Expresso, your jolt of business acumen. Our hosts have extensive backgrounds in their respective fields of sales and marketing, accounting, risk mitigation, wealth management, and law. Their backgrounds all come together with a common goal to help small businesses and their owners thrive. But today our expert comes to us from the field of payroll. Um, every other week, you can still find us here on Zoom at one o'clock mountain time. And you can find our replay on YouTube and I'll be popping that link in there so you can like and subscribe um, to our YouTube channel. We offer a different topic each week presented by in, or every other week. Uh, presented by an expert to help you create, build, and optimize your business. Each presentation should give you one actionable step to walk away with to make you better at running your business, not being run by your business. Make sure to add us to your calendars. Before I introduce our hosts and our expert today, we do try to make this an interactive session. So if you have questions, please pop them into the Q&A box or the chat. Don't keep them to yourself. And we will leave time at the end to answer your questions live. So without further ado today, our panel includes John Geese, a business growth strategist from RAS Squared and our expert in scaling your sales and marketing, and Sam Saeed, an award-winning financial advisor with Northwestern Mutual to guide us in risk mitigation and wealth management. And I will be representing Tax Time CPAs today since Mike is on vacation. Um, our presenter today is Kelly Seriano. Kelly has worked in payroll for about 21-ish years, and she is currently applying her expertise and excellent service through Assure Software. Kelly focuses on maintaining healthy relationships with her clients and enjoys helping others navigate the waters of payroll. Outside of the corporate world, you can find Kelly building on her values of service and balance through her certificates to teach neurosculpting, meditation, yoga, Pilates, bear, cycling, and dance. Kelly, I am super pumped to hear you uh, speak on payroll today. Take it away. Excellent. Thanks, Colleen. So hello, everyone. Welcome to our brief meeting today. The company that I work for is called Assure Software. Like Colleen mentioned, I've been in the industry 21 years, so started when I was age two. And uh, for the last year, I have loved being part of the Assure team. We were founded in 1985. We are publicly traded. And with that, our corporate office is located in Austin, Texas. I do sit in Denver, yet service organizations around the country. So it really doesn't matter where you are. With that, our software is SOC 1 and SOC 2 compliant and completely integrated. And we continue to grow uh, through both acquisition and client direct. And I actually have over 80,000 clients on my platform. We are a human capital management tax and HR and HR services company. So we are gonna absolutely be scalable to the organization we work with. If it's one employee, great, we can work with you. If it's 7,000, outstanding. We'll probably feature and turn on a lot of our features with the larger institutions. So what we're here to review is the employee retention tax credit. I have been on the phone and in front of people nonstop talking about this. So tax time, Colleen and the Espresso team thought it would be beneficial for me to speak to you today. What I wanna tell you about this is it's another lifeline that the government has put out there for business owners to continue to operate and retain their employees. This is actually a credit that doesn't have to be paid back and we can actually go back in time uh, into 2020 to claim retroactive credits. At first, they said that if an organization got PPP, then they weren't eligible for 
ERTC. If you come from this industry, you know there's a heck of a lot of acronyms. So I'll do my best to say what those mean. But there was an amendment to the CARES Act that basically said now it is possible to do both. So I will provide some high level information on why it is possible to take advantage of the PPP loans and ERTC. What's available? So in 2020, the CARES Act is saying that uh, you can actually get up to 50% of $10,000 per employee in qualifying wages. Um, and with that, it could be even $5,000 tax credit per employee. There's a number of factors that go into that. And if you want to talk about the calculation, make sure to message me and we'll have a conversation where I can show you what the calculation looks like. It is beneficial to at least take 10 minutes to review it. And I highly recommend reviewing this calculation with your CPA or accountant so they can advise you on if this is for you. In 2020, we're actually available to, or excuse me, employers are available to have 70% of wages uh, for up to $10,000 per employee per quarter. So that could result in a credit of $7,000 per employee for up to four quarters. Do the math, $20,000 right there. Assure is prepared to help our clients with this if their CPA does the equation with them and feels that it's beneficial. On a very high level, I will review the calculation with you as well. This is a nice chart when it comes time to just understanding what is possible. So whether it's PPP versus ERTC, um, company size, who qualifies credits available. Size um, does matter in this equation. So they like to offer this to the smaller organizations, smaller in size. So just stay mindful of that. Assure is definitely integrated. So the nice thing about these credits is we actually have a lot of the data that's already needed to find out if an organization qualifies. Now, if you're not a client or you're just new to this, that's okay too. Um, there's many flow charts as well that talk about if you've had uh, any loss or dip in your gross receipts from you know, 2020 compared to 2019, um, that would constitute for a possible credit. We're gonna keep this information um, around uh, and continually updating our community on what those changes might be and maybe. There's more than just this as far as lifelines that have been thrown out there. And we have a series of webinars that I can release to as well um, for your reference. We're going to keep everything um, for you in one place for employer retention tax credit and all of your payroll data. So you're really not necessarily going to have to ship through screens to get this information at your fingertips. Um, in addition to uh, staying compliant with taxes and payroll and getting you the proper uh, amended return for ERTC, Assure also provides scalable HR services. So everything from an employee handbook to a hotline that you can call as an employer to ask questions that uh, are a little tricky or maybe in that gray area. So we have um, a full set of professionals that can help you navigate business. With that, everything uh, with Assure is fully automated. And we would keep the information at your fingertips. Even if there's three employees, we can make the I-9 process and the W-4 process completely automated while offering self-service to the employee base. ACA compliance has come up quite a bit as well. We will automate this process for our clients and help them with all of that necessary reporting that needs to be done, performance tracking, um, and really anything along that employer life cycle. And our expertise on ERTC is something that we don't take lightly. So um, whether it's the equation we wanna come back to or the employee size, we're gonna be prepared to help you navigate those waters. 
With Assure, um, we do have a very uh, stair-step approach to our products and services, understanding that one size does not fit all. So the first uh, level of service is the most basic and payroll and tax is going to be the core of what we do. With that, offering those basic, you know, labor law posters that you need to have hanging up in your organization. And as the needs become more complex, we can absolutely accommodate it. I will say for ERTC, Employer Retention Tax Credit Service, whether you're at three employees or 300, uh, not 300, but say three employees or 33, you could be eligible for credit and you can really utilize our services on any of these tiered platforms. As a company grows in needs and wishes and demand, we do offer a more scalable approach where we can actually have that HR hotline support for your organization. Additionally, we could absolutely help you outsource all of your HR services and become your payroll department. So we do have a total outsource package uh, method that we could provide. Again, we can accommodate what the organization's needs are. So let me take a few steps back because I want to just tell you in regards to ERTC, we will actually review those qualifying wages with the payroll information that we already have. Additionally, um, we would work with our clients and or the accounting firm or CPA to get other information that we might need access to. We're actually going to go in and calculate the credit amount um, and then at the end of the quarter, file the amended returns. Some have asked if they can get a cash credit rather than just reporting this towards their total 941 uh, wages. And you can, there's just an additional form that needs to be filed. So Colleen, let me pause right there and just see what sorts of questions have come up so far. So I don't see any in the chat or in okay. the question. Q&A. So if you have questions, please pop them in. Um, for myself, um, when you talk to new clients and they're, they're coming on with you, mm -hmm. how many um, small business owners do you talk to that um, qualify who think that they didn't for That's some sort question. of relief? Yeah. That's a great question. So what I will say is that more qualifying for it than I really thought would. For example, I first heard of this uh, act and I had a three employee company approach me in wanting more information. And so um, this actually was a CPA firm um, yet. So they had a good understanding of the calculation, but irregardless, I pulled up the calculation online and we really went through um, line item by line item of what goes into this actual calculation. And with that, um, we found that this the employee tax company actually is going to receive credit. Uh, and then earlier today, I actually was um, on the line with a 50 employee company. And as we were discussing uh, ERTC, I always just take a really conservative approach towards it. Um, because again, I really, really say check with your CPA or accountant to see if this is something you could benefit from. But as I was speaking with them, uh, the owner said, you know what? My CPA said, I need to do this. Um, and this was even before I got to him. So he, he's like, I heard about this. I'm glad you called. Um, yes, we want to do this. So uh, I, I really didn't have to do much because the CPA had already gotten to this you know, organization. So. I'm finding that this is spreading like wildfire and it's almost too good to be true that these credits are available that we don't have to pay back. Um, so that has been really, really exciting. Uh, furthermore, um, the fact that, you know, Assure will file that amended return, it's just a time saver. Accountants yeah. and business owners don't want to spend time doing uh, this tactical work so we can really help them be strategic in this work. Um, 
That's awesome. Yeah. So um, more qualifying than I initially had thought. So always check, basically. Make yeah. sure you're checking your returns to see um, where you fall out. Uh, so we have another, what is the minimum employee number? Um, and can these credits apply to a single owner operator LLC? So it depends. Um, again, if this is a one person, depends on the corporation that, or that they're really incorporated as. Are they an S corp? Are they a C corp? Are they a dual member LLC? Are they single? Are they operating as a sole proprietor? There can be some stickiness when it comes to that and the information on it keeps changing. So um, earlier last week, I was on a call with an accountant and a client and the accountant wanted the services for a one employee company and that employee was the owner and it was an S corp. So um, there are circumstances where this is you know, beneficial and helpful. Um, okay. And I always advise, let's check the latest updates on it. Let's pull in the accountant and let's figure it out. Okay. Well, they would be asked to be filing um, payroll taxes, correct? Correct. Payroll is okay. part of this. Yeah. So as long as there was an employee filing a payroll tax. Return. Yeah. There's a number of um, factors that go into the equation. So First, obviously, we're go they're going to take a look at the PPP period. So when did an organization um, get the PPP loan? They go deep into what was the money used for um, all the way into, OK, let's look at payroll. So who are the employees? How much were they paid? Did they meet the minimum requirements? And if so, hmm it's possible they're eligible. Mm. It even goes into um, the last section, which is the gross receipts. So another you know, quick way is just saying, okay, did my uh, gross receipts decrease you know, quarter four of 2020 to quarter four of 2019? If there was a decrease in 2020, it's possible they're eligible for a credit. There are a lot of factors that go into this. I worked gotcha. with um, an organization earlier this morning that has had, uh, that has eight employees, excuse me. And they did have to temporarily shut down uh, their services. So that also plays into it. And additionally with that, um, her and I, uh, the owner and I and the accountant, I took them through a spreadsheet that I have. It's like a flow chart that goes through some questions that either lead to yes or no, yes or no. And I can supply that information to anyone who's interested. Just make sure to reach out. And we found that this eight employee organization qualifies for credits. Mm. Um, yeah. And it's something that's in the arts. So it was just really, oh, uh, it was really exciting news. Yeah. Eddie, um, I've got a quick question. <clears throat> for me. Um, this is fantastic, by the way. So thanks for showing this. And, yeah. Um, so, my question is, if, if you have some business owners that are currently, they have a payroll company that are not doing a great job, for example, um, mm -hmm. and they have their accountant, like you said, and, and you, you kind of come in, how, how, how can they reach out to, to you and Assure? Did you, I mean, the ultimate goal was for them to, to move to Assure as their payroll provider, right? Um, but do you provide advice? How would that conversation work if someone wants to, like, I know a bunch of clients with paychecks, uh, for example, no, nothing wrong paychecks, whatever, but right, ADP, but they might not be going the extra mile to reach out to them and explain that there are these types of credits available. Um, whereas you're, you're doing this um, educational um, presentation today. So what if those people that already have an existing payroll provider but want to reach out to you and hear about this, is there a way that you can fit into that equation? I'm really glad you asked that question. Absolutely. There are well, first and foremost, there are a lot of uh, great payroll companies out there and Assure actually encourages organizations to process payroll. This is our software. So we actually resell it to payroll companies that are out there. Uh, I will say, if you reach out to me directly, you will get wholesale pricing. So our pricing is gonna be competitive. Assure is actually uh, does a lot of consulting as well. So you're right, Sam, this is a very productive approach to this tax credit. And Frankly, it's really cool that we're doing this. Um, 
So with that, we saw an opportunity in the market to really be proactive. And uh, yes, it is helping us get uh, the payroll over as well. For example, I was working with an organization yesterday, 10 employees, and the CPA had referred this organization to me. First thing I said was, I want to be as transparent as possible. I'm going to share a lot of really good information with you. Yet we will need the payroll service as well. And uh, the organization was willing to take a look at that. So with that, I want to mention two things. Um, as this potential new client and I yesterday looked at some of the apples to apples comparison of the organizations, the differences that this organization was able to get was, first of all, uh, a direct point of contact. So they're not gonna be thrown into a customer service queue and sometimes the black hole of customer service. They're gonna have really good service from sure. They're gonna have a dedicated person that they can chat with, ask those time sensitive questions. Um, so that's the first thing they got. They got an integrated platform. All of the uh, payroll information is gonna be tied to the HR information, tied to the benefits information. Additionally, we are going to facilitate ERTC, so Employee Retention Tax Credit. And with that, the employer is going to get money back. Um, we're going to do the heavy lifting when it comes to the 941. So at the end of the day, the employer ended up changing to my payroll services. I was able to lower their overall payroll costs and what they were paying their prior payroll company as well. So saving them money on the payroll to payroll fees, which isn't a bad thing, and then finding the money on top of that. So really able to find them those dollars that can be helpful uh, for those rainy days. It looks like we have one last question Okay. Um, from Amy. Um, it says, if you did not sustain a reduction in income of 50% or more, are you still eligible to apply? If you did not. It's a big, it's a big calculation. So there's always a chance. I do have a calculation that I could take you through and loop in your accountant or CPA and we can go through it together. Okay, so it's a, it's a maybe, it's a, one of those, it depends um, questions. Those it's a very are, great, yeah, it's yeah. a very gray area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those are the best always. Um, yeah. Any, any final questions, John or Sam? Tony muted. <laughs> That's because I have a lot of noise outside my window. <laughs> the, the question I have is, we've talked a lot about the ERTC. The, uh, I have something in the back of my head that says there's a whole host of employee kinds of tax credits out there. There are. Um, yes, there are. There are tons. And I actually have a very helpful compliance booklet that I can share, but it talks about everything from dependent credits to child credits to these tax credits. It reviews PPP and those credits, of course. Um, it just goes through, not those credits, but it reviews PPP and those uh, requirements rather. Um, and this compliance booklet is great because it really spells all of it out clearly. So I'll share that with you at the end of the meeting. Fantastic. Would you be willing to stick that into our Facebook group, our private Facebook group? Absolutely. I'll make a note. That would be fantastic. That way our attendees and anyone watching later can find that in our Facebook group. Um, and fantastic. Kelly, mm -hmm. thank you so much. You always have a, a great hold on what is happening in the payroll arena, which is um, a separate world of tax that is its own beast for sure. So thank you so much. Um, follow us on YouTube. We have our YouTube channel started and I have popped that link here into the chat and I will follow that up in our LinkedIn <clears throat> and Facebook groups. And you can always find us and our experts in our Business Expresso private Facebook group for access to our experts and more. And then if you enjoyed this in two weeks, we will be back with Katie. I always butcher her last name, Wendland, who will be speaking with the upcoming changes in the rules for retirement for employees in two weeks. So 
We're done a little bit early here. So this truly is your jolt of business acumen today. So thank you for joining us and we'll see you in two weeks.